super nerd friends. It's Friday and it's Becky and hello. Here's a bit of a different background today. Uh, it's darker. It's dark outside. It's not sunny at all. Um, so here's my awesome poster that you guys gave me and my cat who is sleeping. Um, anyway, yeah, this has not been a very productive week at all. I haven't done any of the things that I said that I would. Except I finally finished my resume and cover letter and emailed those in to Mathnasium just more than minutes ago. Several minutes ago. Maybe an hour or two ago. Um, so, job, maybe, if there's a position open over the summer, which there probably isn't because I'm applying kind of late. Um, but teaching kids, math, nice. I miss math. I really do. Like, I was in the car the other day. I'm like, I really miss doing integrals. I just give me a triple integral, please. I miss them. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, whether or not I get the position at Mathnasium, though, I will be teaching kids, um, at least for a week in July, because of Vacation Bible School, which Joanna made me sign up for, and then went and ditched me because she got the internship position at our church, so she's going to be teaching camp kids. Congratulations to her. But darn, I really didn't want to teach VBS, but she was like, you don't have any more facial piercings, they'll love you! But she also said, we can do puppet shows together, it'll be great! But now we can't do puppet shows together. So it's me and my mom teaching 20 kids. Um, and to keep them occupied, I might be doing a puppet show by myself. Um... I like doing puppet shows. It just, ah, uh, second graders are adorable and they're wonderful, but ah, uh, teaching kids. Ah, uh, I'll have to get over it, I suppose. Um, so anyway, uh, this morning my mom actually pulled me out of bed forcefully by my legs and arms and everything. Um, Except she was very happy while she was doing it. She's like, come downstairs, I have to show you something, it's so exciting! So, I don't know, it was an okay way to get up, I suppose. It wasn't even this morning, it was like 12.30. <laughs> uh, because I stay up until 3, 4, usually 4. Um, but she dragged me all the way downstairs and would not let me escape because of a video that she found online. And I was like, really? But it's about this convention thing going on in Seattle tomorrow, and my, now my dad and I have tickets for it, so we'll be going. But it's about conservation. And I feel kind of bad because none of my videos have been about anything future-related or nerdy or science-y at all. So after this, after tomorrow, I will tell you what I learn about vertical farming and um, clean, green conservation things. I will, And there will be more nerdage in my films. So that'll be good. I'll learn some stuff. Maybe maybe I'll be inspired by the wonderful technology possibilities out there for my future. Um, it'll be good, anyways. Um, about Paper Towns, I finished part two. Just recently. Just now. Actually. Um, I really liked it. I really liked the first part, too. Um, I kind of love the scavenger hunt thing they've got going on. It reminded me of um, Joanna and I and our neighbors, Erin and Emily, we used to make scavenger hunts for each other. Um, actually, Joanna showed me one of them a few days ago. She brought out this like old tea-stained map. It was <laughs> We made a map of their backyard, and we hid clues around for each other. Um, it, it was really fun both making the scavenger hunts and, and following them, because um, I used to love writing poems and... You know, everyone loves a scavenger hunt. Those are wonderful. Actually, I made a scavenger hunt for Joanna's birthday in middle school. It was a Pirates of the Caribbean themed thing. It was really cool. It was really good. I was so proud of myself. I wasn't actually there, though, to enjoy seeing their faces as they did the scavenger hunt. I don't know where I was. I was probably taking some horrible test. But it was really fun to write. And Joanna said that it was really fun. So. And then at the end, there, were, there was always, like, a prize. Like, um, in one of them, we had snow cones at the end. Like, we, we led them to the, the kitchen, and I, we had snow cones. It was cool. Um, for Quentin, however, at least part of the time, he thinks he's going to be finding a body. So kind of puts a damper on the whole excitement of the scavenger hunt. Um, 
I really, I, I don't think they're going to kill Margo, though, at this point. At, at the end of part two, that doesn't seem like it's going to happen, which is good. Um, definitely. <laughs> um, but also, I think it, it's kind of interesting what they've done with the, um, with the poem and, and a conversation that Quentin's parents were having was really interesting, the one about mirrors and windows. Um, so it's interesting the way all these things are kind of tying together and and making Quentin learn more about Margot. So that's kind of cool that he's not idolizing her so much. Like Haley said, like he's seeing that she's a person. Um, so that's good. That just reminded me of something. But now I can't remember it. So, also, urban exploration. Awesome. I totally wish I could do that. I would be so terrified. That's, it's, okay, someday I will. I'll be living in a place with, like, an abandoned mental hospital, or, I don't know, I've never really actually been in an abandoned building. They've always creeped the heck out of me. Someday I will, though, and it'll be really cool. They just make such great settings for scary things. You know, it'll be great. Like in the John Green, John Green made a video of that. I wonder if he does that very often, or was, Alexis probably knows if that was like the only time that he's done that, or... I don't know about actually sleeping in an abandoned place, though. That's pretty intense. Hmm. I don't know. That was very cool. So I'm enjoying the book a lot. Um, at the end of it, at the version I have, um, I think I downloaded a slightly different one to what you guys have. Um, but there are some discussion questions, so I don't know, are we going to continue on to part three now? And if we are, then uh, I could bring up some of those discussion questions. That'd be cool. Um, yes. Um, oh, about mysteries and, and things, though. I'm, I'm actually not the one. I've only read one Nancy Drew book in my life, and that was, like, early high school or something. It was one of the modern ones, so it wasn't even so good. Joanna's, Joanna's the only one who actually reads the books. She started reading them in second grade. I mean, she doesn't read them anymore. Um, I just play the computer games. <laughs> I mean, Agatha Christie computer games. I would love to play Sherlock Holmes computer games. Um, and Nancy Drew computer games, for sure. But yeah, not, not I haven't really read many mystery novels. Sherlock Holmes is probably it, and I haven't read many of those. Only Hunt of the Baskervilles, so... Um... I think that is it. So, I will see you guys later. And look forward to watching your videos. And I'm just going to go ahead and read part three of Paper Towns. So, and hopefully hopefully get a job. Well, I'll, I'll let you know how things go. Um, bye! Oh, that did not... That did not close it. Okay, bye.